Hello bro, so welcome to SFX2, Bro Fan Production, and the next part, Sakura for Succubus. The last part to be exact. Let's just jump straight into it. I just know it's close to me the <coughs> then rests her head upon my shoulder. Her long hair tickles my cheeks, but I don't mind it. The weight of her body against my own is a comfort, uh, and her warmth blades through her clothes uh, through to my own. I entwine Ayu's hand in mine, which is laying uh, by her side, and she sights appreciatively. It's a lovely night, don't you think? It sure is. The moon is especially beautiful. But it's uh, made even more so when we are together. Oh, you're such a charmer. A giggle. <clears throat> a giggling Ayu nudges me in the side with her elbow. Ayu's elbows are pretty pointy. Much uh, <coughs> like her words, but she doesn't put enough force into the blow for it to hurt. She's uh, being unusually gentle after her earlier meltdown. I'm glad I was able to console her. And it's nice to sit together like this, just the two of us. Hey, Hiroki. Yeah, there's something in the ma on your mind. It's nothing so important, really. I was just thinking, um. I inhale, stealing a surprise, meet mine, bright violet glistening beneath the milky moonlight. There, a pause, and then. I. Do you know? Do what? Is this supposed to be some kind of proposal? She doesn't want to get married, does she? I'd be flattered if that were the case, but it might cause a few problems with her career. I just aren't supposed to get married and not even allowed to go on date. <coughs> <coughs> if she wants to walk down the aisle in the <coughs> with me in a white dress, she better put her career behind her. I don't know if Ayo likes me all that much. But my musings... Uh, it it transpires we're quite unnecessary, much like 80% of the stuff which circulates about inside my mind. I love you. I confesses her voice some of soft as a whisper. I know I act uh, like I don't, but that's all a uh, front. I'm afraid of being weak, and I'm afraid of being vulnerable. It's been in the spotlight for too long. My so-called fans scrutinize me, the tabloids too, and the TV talk shows. If I make a single mistake, they all descend upon me like vultures. I've uh, had to learn how to be two-faced to survive. If I let my let what people say get to me, I'll never be able to get out of bed in the mornings. I act like a cute bubbly airhead on stage, but I've hardened my heart against criticism. For a while I found it impossible to be honest. I've been playing a character for so for a long time, but it's different when I'm with you. I know you won't judge me unlike the others. You make me feel safe. So I can finally tell you how I really think and feel. Both the bad parts and the good. I love you. So please don't leave me. I might be awkward and annoying and maybe I can't change, but I'm working on it. I want to make you happy. Are you? I smile at her, then lean in over the coaster and let my head rest atop hers. Her fingers still entwined and mutt into the stillness of the starry night. You don't need to worry about that. You do make me happy. I'm not going to go anywhere. You, you, you won't? Nah. But, but I'm nowhere near as affectionate as the others. Hifumi always cooks for you and Cosmo is super lovey dovey. And Marina and Hazel aren't all self conscious about expressing their feelings, but I am. I insult you when uh, I don't mean to. When you try to be affectionate, I pull away. I'm the worst. No, you're not. You're just a little awkward, like you said, but I don't mind it. I haven't uh, taken any of it to heart. 
I always know how you feel about me. You're not as good at hiding it as you think, might think. Uh, I just scouts. For for some reason, that's kind of annoying. I can be very annoying if I choose to be, but it is what it is. Your feelings for me are obvious despite the your constant proclamation to the contrary, so don't worry. I like just you just as much as the others. You're all special to me. And I'm not going to let you go. You, you promise? I promise. Cross your heart and hope to die. I say, let's na not get carried away. Well, I don't know if I go that far. I utensils besides uh, me scowling her reaction is so predictable I can't help but laugh. Even now, doing a gentle lovey-dovey moment like this, I can't help but uh, <coughs> want to poke fun at her. She's so uh, eminent, uh, bull, uh, yeah, bull. I never stop uh, delighting in it. Yes, kidding. Cross across my heart, that should go without saying. I love you too, are you? Well, of course you do. <laughs> Who can resist my chance? Haha. <laughs> I uh, lost, but it sounds more awkward than anything else, and uh, soon trails off into series of ellipses. She expels a sight into the lukewarm air, then surveys me. I'm still trying to put up a front even now. It just comes naturally to me, I guess. I'm terrible at being honest, but it's a little easier when we are together. I really am trying, so I hope you can bear with me. I know you're trying, and I won't fault you for faltering. Opening up to others can be hard. When you are used to having every single word and action dissected by a general public. I can't imagine how much stress you endure on a day-to-day -day basis. But I'll always be here. If you want somebody to vent to, look no further. I'm trying to be as uh, supportive as I can for the sake of your career and our relationship. Thank you. I smile as a violet eyes tremble with emotion. I might <coughs> You might tease me from time to time, but I know you're really great guy deep down you're the best cameraman no the best boyfriend a girl could ever ask for i really do love you so saying i will in and presses her mouth to my own her kiss is sweet and gentle and direct <coughs> contrast to her abrasive personality and it's full of love <coughs> her feelings are so palpable i can taste them in her saliva and on her tongue. She really does love me. And I think after all we endure together I love her too. How could I not? I could... <coughs> I you really is adorable. <coughs> mm. oh, that's empty. The rest of my vacation passes in a blur of joyous activity. I go on stores along the beach with Marina, sample more of Fumi's delicious cooking, refer several of Hazel's volleyball matches, splash in the salty surf with Cosmos and go stargazing with Ayu. Before I know it, the final day of my vacation arrives. It's uh, with some sorrow that I, I pack away my clothes and shake my room for anything I might have missed. It would be nice to stay a bit longer. But I can't uh, shrink my duties forever. Work is waiting for me back in Tokyo and my boss I'm sure hell have any number of tests to give me after my week spent away. I had a lot of fun but now it's time to go. No good thing can last forever. But the memories I made here will last a lifetime. I take my suitcase in one hand and meet up with the others in the living room. And clad in their casual attire, their swimsuit packed away in their own cases. Do you have anything? Uh, do you have everything, Hiroki? He put me fastest over me when I entered the living room, just a as a mother might. Did you check every single drawer before you left? Did you remember to pack away your socks and your underwear? 
You should be particularly careful about your underwear. If you left a pair behind, I you might claim the, it uh, the next time she comes here. I know how crazy she is about you. She loves you and your underwear. I bet she cuddle it and sniff it and do all sorts of things to it. Not that I can judge her, I would do the same. <laughs> There's nothing better than my boyfriend's sweaty boxes. Hey, don't pin uh, all your weird creepy fetishes on me. You might have any thing for sniffing old on this, but I most certainly do not. It's not like Hiroki Sen makes me feel all hot or, or anything. Forgive me for my rudeness, but you are not very good at telling lies, are you? If she wasn't, she wouldn't uh, be Ayu anymore. I suppose you are correct about that. Ayu is quite predictable. But that is what makes her so charming. <laughs> Who are you calling predictable? <laughs> Get off me. Don't pat my head like we are friends. If women causes love while Marina sights. It's awfully early for you to be shouting like that, are you? Can you knock it out? Off? Oh, sorry Marina, I suppose my youthful seal is too much for an old lady like you to handle. F f How many times do I tell you I am not old, I'm still in the prime of my youth, you ingrate. You say that, but I think I can see a few grey hairs already. Even if I do have grey hairs, which I doubt, uh, how could you be able to see them? My hair is white already. Oh dear, it's worse than I thought. You really are an old woman. Right, that does it. It might be early in the morning, but I'm not going to hold back. You deserve a good smack, young lady. <laughs> no, please don't. Anything but that. I bolts away from Marina, her twin to streaming behind her. She dives behind the couch while Marina pursues her, like a shepherd of the startled sheep. If we may watch her in an amused smile, playing about her lips. Put it that to one side. Did you remember to pack your toothbrush, Hiroki? You are off to say, what about your wallet and your phone? If you continues to fuss over me, well, I assure you that, yes, I do have everything. Once Marina and I have tired themselves out, the six of us sit down to eat breakfast. Of course, consumed and throughout enjoyed, we then leave Ayu's beach house. This will be the last time I see this place for a while anyway. I wonder if we ever come back. I wouldn't be opposed to spending another summer relaxing in this beautiful unsolid beach or padding in the Asura, Asura Ocean. But now it's all coming to a close. I gave Ayu's beach house one last lingering look, then stepped off down the beach. The soles of my shoes sink into the uneven sand, and the wheel of the suitcase get stuck. It's hard work pulling it along, and the sun is so hot up ahead I'm starting to sweat. The salty sea breeze tosses my hair, and the hem of my shirt flutters. The waves break against the shore, churning themselves up into white foam uh, and ahead in the gulls cry. Perhaps I'm feeling sentimental but it almost sounds like they're wishing us a goodbye. It would be nice if I could come back here one day. But for the present work beckons. It's time to go back to Tokyo. And I wonder what uh, adventures await me in uh, the future in my harem of Sakabi. I can't wait to find out. So that's Sakura for Sakura, Sakura Sakura's four. So this is the end into there isn't technically anything more uh, that comes there. So I suppose I'm gonna end it here. So at least that was all I have for Sakura but Sakura's four this time uh, and. And I'll be back next time with Sakura Forest Girls. So hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.